We've been reporting on this broadcast the need to enforce this nation's origin, uh, country of origin labels for our food, for the protection of American consumers. Those requirements were enacted into law, in fact, more than four years ago, never enforced because of political and lobbying pressure from the industry. While Americans are increasingly concerned and threatened about food safety, a consumers' union poll, in fact, shows 92% of all Americans want to know where their food originates. Kitty Pilgrim reports now on the efforts by special interests to keep Americans in the dark about where their food comes from and what's in it. Food from all over the world. Consumers may like the variety, but they also want to know where their food is coming from, and they can't tell. Laws enacted by Congress in 2002 to require country of origin labeling, so-called cool laws, but powerful lobbying groups pushed back implementation of those laws for most products till 2008. In Congress, the delay was done in 2004, and then again another delay was made in 2006. So there's definitely been opportunities for country of origin labeling to go into effect, and it has most clearly been derailed uh, at least twice. <laughs> The recent discovery of numerous cases of contaminated food, especially from China, have caused health scares. Just this week, popular snacks manufactured in the United States but containing Chinese ingredients were found to be contaminated with salmonella. A website sponsored by the American Meat Institute advocates no country of origin labeling. Reading, a coalition of entities who are deeply concerned about the costly, trade-distorting and disruptive nature of mandatory country of origin labeling. But the American Farmers Union, which represents a quarter million producers of all types of fruit, vegetables, grain and other commodities, is for country of origin labeling. We've been advocating this for about 15 years and actually got it into the 2002 Farm Bill as part of the law signed in to law by President Bush. Importers have been able to block uh, and delay the implementation time after time after time. The USDA today said even though the law was passed in 2002, it is not a final rule, it's still only a proposed rule. The USDA also said they're now in an open comment 60-day period asking for public input on how they want the country of origin rules to read. That period will end August 20th, and after that, the final rules will begin to be formulated. But it's clear the American public wants the stricter rules yeah, in and place. And we need to cut through the nonsense here. Congress has been rolling over for the lobbyists, delaying the enforcement of this law that has now been on the books for five years. And every one of everyone should know that these gutless wonders, these spineless wonders sitting on that committee, are, are to, are, they're absolutely to blame. Um, Let's get their names up on the website. I want them up for this. I want them up now. Let them be accountable. This is inexcusable. It certainly is. These rules will not go into place until September 2008. These, yeah. This, let's let's impeach them. I've I've had it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get it up. It'll be on LouDobbs.com. You can see how your congressmen and your representatives and so-called public servants are behaving and why. Thank you, Kitty Pilgrim. After our extensive reporting on this broadcast about the government's failure to enforce those country of origin labels, the House Agriculture Committee this week did reject an amendment that would have further weakened the requirements. Good for them. More.